Dude, this guy's so nervous. He's shaking. Did you steal any watch or know of any AP personnel who stole any item from the house? Absolutely not. The protocols that are in place when you document, was everyone wearing body cam? They were. Arm out the window of a car and fired a gun and it was on video. You would expect to see muzzle flashes, wouldn't you? On, vi on video? Yes. Uh, that's reasonable to expect. That's if the video is grainy, would you expect to see muzzle, muzzle flash? You can see the brake lights. You would be able to see a muzzle flash. Now, is YSL a gang? Me personally, I never looked at it as a gang. Yeah, hey, find out, man. Find out what I get for it, huh? Find out what I get I'm in PC with Lucci. Find out how much I can get for that. On a recorded jail call that's monitored. Day 160 of the YSL Rico trial was very important. YSL Obama testified on whether YSL was a gang and if members committed crimes. Gunshot residue results for the inside of Shannon's rental car is also shown to the jury. So it's looking like YSL Obama kind of snitching here today, boys. He's talking a little bit too much. But none of it really has anything to do with Shannon or Yak. And you'll see the gunshot residue results. It's actually kind of a W. So hit subscribe, join Shannon membership. Let's go, boys. Yak got he got the gray suit on today. Shannon looking clean too. State has around 10 witnesses left. And I think the last one is investigator Viverito, who's going to be on the stand for days, apparently. I currently work at the Atlanta Police Department Crime Lab and the Firearms Unit. So this lady's here to show that there was Niven hits on some shell casings at Waters Road. And is that the Niven that you just described um, that you did after getting the test fire comparison and the shell casing comparison? That's correct. Right. Max on cross. Other than the shell casings from those two incidents that I just read the stipulation about, compare any other shell casings or, or did you find any other Niven links to that FN gun, which is 221 VV in evidence? No, I did not. If by anyone, 40 caliber projectiles were placed in this bullet track system, do you have any awareness of that? I would not. Detective Belknap back, he testified probably eight, nine months ago, I feel like. We located some social media photographs of a potential suspect. Uh, the suspect looked familiar to me, but I couldn't recall a name for the suspect. Uh, I reached out to another law enforcement contact who was able to send back a photograph of Mr. Kamarvius Nichols, um, who I immediately recognized was, in fact, the person from the social media pictures. When you got there, was that address, an apartment, a business, a home? As a residence, a single, single family residence. Did you uh, notice or see any vehicles at that residence? I did. What did you see? There was a white, white Audi A5 with a Maryland tag. One of the items was uh, a firearm, an FN Herstall 5.7 handgun. Uh, another item was a pink beanie cap. Um, also a black backpack that was recovered as well. So the FN they found, it don't shoot 40 caliber bullets, so Glock does. So this first bag again are the pills that we um, I suspected were Adderall. The second contains the suspected oxycodone. Uh, the third bag contains uh, some of the... So is everything they found in that white Audi, I believe? Fourth bag contains additional uh, commercially packaged marijuana. And this final bag contains the suspected MDMA. And the firearm was just off the roadway in the grass, uh, like I guess within a couple feet of the roadway. And was there a magazine nearby? There was. Ultimately, rendered the firearm safe and uh, transported it to Atlanta Police Department property as well. So I'd imagine this firearm that someone found on the side of the road, does it match the Shamel Drinks murder or no? What were the arrest warrants that you took out? Um, I took out additional arrest warrants, if I may refresh my memory. Okay. Um, additional arrest warrants for Mr. Jackson for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, um, possession of a um, Schedule II controlled substance with intent to distribute, and three counts of... Yes. Oh, man. Shar didn't like something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we get started back with the testimony, I just wanted to let y'all know to disregard the witness's comment about a warrant being taken from Mr. Stillwell for drugs. Go ahead, Mr. Ed. So that's what it was. The detective said that he took a warrant out. So the detective just f***ed up and they have to disregard that. The f***ing 500th time they've had to delete something from their brain. The search of Jeffrey Williams' address. You were present for that search, correct? I was. You were one of the officers executing the search? Yes, sir. Jeffrey Williams was present, correct? Yes, sir. Martinez Arnold was present? Yes, sir. Diamante Kendrick was present? Yes, sir. Uh, Jeffrey Williams' teenage son was present, correct? I believe so, yes. Okay. Shannon Stilwell was not present at 355 Allison Drive on May 9th, 2022, was he? He was not. Okay. And you don't have any evidence at all that um, Mr. Stilwell has ever even been to that residence, do you? I, no, I don't. Okay. Jewelry? Yes. Money? Yes. Phones? Yes. Mr. Williams' cars were seized? That's correct. 60% of you aren't subscribed. Come on, hit the subscribe bell. Six guns collected, correct? I believe so, yes. Okay. I'm talking about all six firearms. Do you have any evidence that Mr. Stilwell has touched, ever touched any of these firearms? I do not. Okay. Do you have any evidence that any, ballistically, any of these firearms were ever used in the Shamal Drinks homicide? I didn't conduct that follow-up investigation, so I don't know whether it was or wasn't. I'm not aware of any evidence that, that it was okay. anymore. And, and that, that includes the switch too, correct? It does. Okay. Separating these weapons from any murders or anything, because I don't think there's anything like that. Ballistically or otherwise that any of these guns were used in the January 10, 2015 shooting of Donovan Thomas. I do not. Well, do you know who was wearing that prior to their arrest? Yes, sir. And was it my client, Shannon Stillwell? It was. And you collected that beanie because you had viewed the BP video uh, that Detective Hogan had showed you already, correct? I had. And you had noted that Mr. Stillwell was wearing a pink beanie, beanie and that 
BP video. I had observed that, yes. And that's, that's clear video as far as videos go. It wasn't grainy, it was clear. And you saw Mr. Stilwell wearing a pink bean. Yes. Okay, and you would, you would agree that it was Mr. Nichols that threw that book bag into those bushes, correct? I would, yes, sir. All right. The FNX 45 tactical shoots 45 caliber rounds. Yes, it does. And those are the two guns that were located. And you collected those firearms and brought them into property, into evidence to preserve for further investigation, correct? I did. Do you have any ballistic evidence linking those guns to the, mur- the January 10th, 2015 shooting of Donovan Thomas? I didn't collect, uh, conduct any ballistics investigations on the firearms, so I, did, I don't have any ballistics evidence related okay. to these. Do you have any evidence that, collects, that connects them to the January 10th shooting of Donovan Thomas as we sit here today? I do not. Okay. You have any ballistic evidence that connects those guns to the March 14, 2017 shooting of Shamel Drinks? Mm, I don't have ballistic evidence of any kind related to the, these weapons. In fact, neither the 5.7 or the 45 even shoots 40 caliber. They're not capable of shooting 40 caliber rounds, are they? Uh, neither is Chamber to shoot a 40 caliber round. Sounds like this day is a nothing burger. A lot of weapons, but not connected to a lot of murders here, boys. Ooh, Doug Weinstein up for Carl's. He hasn't in a few days because not really any of this is about yet, Gotti. Okay, did you, did you actually see Mr. Kendrick in the house? I did not. Okay, guns that were found in that house. In, in Mr. Williams' house. Um, do you have any evidence that Mr. Kendrick was ever in possession of those six guns? I do not. Do you have any evidence that he was anywhere near those six guns? I do not. Did you take part in the uh, inventory, possession, or transport of the jewelry that was found in Mr. Williams' home? I was, my role during the search was to take photographs of evidence as it was recovered. Do you recall there being two Richard Millet watches in Mr. Williams' home? I don't know if I would know those if I saw them. Uh, I, so I don't know if there were two or not. Okay. Doug on their ass about the missing watch. But do you recall seeing a white ceramic watch with a pink band in the jewelry that you collected or that was collected in that home? Um, I, I believe one was. Do I remember seeing it? I, I certainly don't just, you know, a couple years later. If a Richard Millet RM055 Bubba Watson white ceramic watch is not present in property today, do you know what happened to that watch? I wouldn't have any idea. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. But for real, where is this watch if that is actually missing? I mean, that's clearly someone stole it then, right? Now, you actually were the photographer of those crime scene photographs we walked through, weren't you? Yes, sir. You remember being asked questions about, I believe it was the six firearms that you found in the house. Yes, sir. And if they have any ballistic evidence to the March 14th, 2022 murder of Chamel Drinks. Do you recall that? Yes. How many months later was this search from March 14th, 2022? That'd be two months later. Was Demikion Garlington uh, arrested on May 9th, 2022 at Jeffrey Williams' home? He was not. Was Shannon Stilwell arrested on May 9th, 2022 at Jeffrey Williams' home? No, he was not. What about Miles Farley? He was not. What about Carmavius Nichols? He was not. In documenting this scene, uh, we saw this uh, um, pamphlet for Mr. McMiller's funeral. Mr. McMiller was um, associated with YSL, um, with Mr. Um, Williams, and had been um, shot and killed. So State is just always trying to connect them to crimes, even if they're victims. Christian McMiller is a victim. But at the same time, it could just be, you know, friends mourning friends. You're not allowed to have a pamphlet of something going to a funeral. I'm just going to come out and ask you because we've been dancing around it. Did you steal any watch or know of any AP personnel who stole any item from the house? Absolutely not. Can you tell the jury the protocols that are in place when you document, was everyone wearing body cam? They were. And can you describe for the jury the process y'all have when you go through that large amount of evidence on a scene like that? In terms of, do you video when you're putting it into property? Yes, usually our body cameras will be running during the search of the home, um, during the transport, uh, and at property when submitting property. So where is the watch then? Provide us with the watch, please. And this can be put to rest. You were asked on redirect if you're aware of any member of the APD that would have stolen this particular watch I asked you about, correct? Yes, sir. Do you have full and total knowledge of all the activities of members of APD? I don't. If a, this particular watch, this Richard Millet watch, ceramic watch is present in a photograph uh, from Jeffrey Williams' home and it is no longer present um, in property right now, it, could anything have happened to that watch other than it have been stolen or lost? Miss Hilton seemed a little angry. She needed to get some farm fresh ingredients from HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You can skip those weekly trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make cooking fun, easy, and affordable. And there's tons of options you can choose from if you have picky eaters, if you want a calorie smart meal plan, or if you're just craving some comfort food, HelloFresh has all the options for you. With a rotating menu of over 50 recipes every single week, there's also options to trade or upgrade your protein or swap out side dishes so it's customized exactly how you like. They also have a hundred different add-on items from desserts, breakfast, and snacks. The reason I love HelloFresh is because it saves me time. I don't have to go to the grocery store. And you're going to feel better because it's real quality ingredients. I also really like how it's 100% online and I don't have to think about it anymore. It pretty much got rid of that whole stress I had in the back of my mind about eating. It's overall just a way more enjoyable experience. Get 10 free meals at HelloFresh.com slash free cuff. Applied across seven boxes, new subscribers only, and it varies by plan. That's 10 
free HelloFresh meals, just go to HelloFresh.com slash free cuff. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Love you guys for the rest of the video. Well, no, not every item that we photograph is ultimately taken as evidence. Um, and I think there are probably a broad number of possibilities of what could have happened to that watch other than it being stolen or lost. Is it the practice of, of your, your office to leave behind a half million dollar watch when you're seizing jewelry? I don't know that I can answer that as far as practices go. I have no idea the value of, of this watch that we're discussing. So I'm woefully uneducated as far as that goes. Um, He's trying to say there's a possibility they never even took it, but clearly they did. All the jewelry was on the table, bunched together. They took that shit. I can tell you that unfortunately, as diligent as we are, sometimes even evidence is left behind the scenes. Um, in this case, I, I don't have any specific information about this particular watch. Can you explain to the jury the procedure when you go about seizing a vehicle such as you such as was seized at Jeffrey Williams' home? As far as the procedure, we would call a, a tow truck to come and tow that vehicle to another location. Is there any searching of the vehicle and inventorying of property within that vehicle at the time of the seizure? It can depend on the scene and uh, if there's a search warrant for the vehicle um, or if the vehicle is accessible. Sometimes the keys may not be present, can't access a vehicle. Um, and sometimes it's towed to a secure location to conduct an inventory or further processing of that vehicle. If the vehicle is accessible at the scene and you have a warrant that allows you to enter that vehicle, what's the procedure for what you do with the contents of the vehicle? Uh, typically those contents would be um, cataloged, uh, valuable items may be secured, uh, evidence may be seized. Is the procedure to leave valuable items within the vehicle? Not typically, and again, that could be case dependent if the vehicle is going to be removed to another secure location for further processing. The fact that they're even allowed to seize property is kind of crazy because there's no evidence of Thug being paid by anything involving this big gang conspiracy. Clearly, all that jewelry and cars were made from his music career. <laughs> So here's pictures of the white Audi after they took it, I would imagine. And can you look at this picture, look and see inside of that vehicle? No, I cannot. Why does she continue to point out the tent situation when clearly there's other theories on why he would tent the rental? Like I had stated earlier, those are the inside, the interior photos of the vehicle from all sides. Bro got some damn leftover pancakes on the ground right there. Is that what that is? Is that pancakes and bacon? Damn, that's a bummer. So the headliner's still intact at this point. They didn't rip it to shreds trying to find a GSR. Shamel drinks car. Oh, Jesus, they're showing the bloody seat, man. What, if anything, um, is this reddish-brown staining? Yeah, there's reddish-brown stains in the seat. All right. All right, Max Shark cross with this lady. Shell casings. Spent shell casings. You did not find any shell casings in the white Audi. Isn't that's, that correct? That's correct. No shell casings. Okay. You didn't find any weapons in the white Audi, did you? Yes, that's correct. Materials or objects that could later be tested for gunshot residue, correct? That's correct, yes. Okay. Sir. I'm very interested if this gunshot residue was found in the car because that's damning evidence, right? And uh, you are trained in gunshot residue, what it is, correct? Yes. In this case, you collected the headliner from this white Audi. Yes. Okay. Where the sunroof is or is it also the surrounding area that forms the border on the top of the car? Yeah, I, I collected that. And if the other parts came off, I collected that as well. Okay, so you collected it all? <laughs> I, yes. Okay. Is, is this the first time you've collected a headliner? Of Actually, yes, that was my very first time collecting a headliner. Okay. First time doing it? Really? Okay, as someone trained in gunshot residue and collection and all that you know about gunshot residue, the headliner seemed like a reasonable part of the car to collect. Well, that's what he requested to be coll to collect. He's the lead, so I'm under his direction. And that seemed reasonable to you, though, correct? Yes. Okay. okay, the cloth material, based on your training experience, would be more likely to collect and um, maintain gunshot residue particles than someone's hands, correct? That is correct. Okay, so that seemed like a good idea to you to collect the headliner. Yes. If we wanted to get to the truth. Yes. Okay. Did you notice any damage to the tint of the front driver's side window? No. Did you notice any bubbling or scratches on the tint of the driver's side window? No, I didn't. So he's killing the theory that Shannon rolled down the window to shoot. State's obviously switching their theory now to that he opened the door, but yet we see no muzzle flash. We would see a muzzle flash if you open the door. So I think this is the guy that tested for the gunshot residue, the headliner of the car. Gunshot primer residue, or GSR, is a collection of microscopic particles that are formed when a firearm is discharged. Uh, we would prefer that the headliner of a vehicle is uh, either submitted or sampled for GSR. Uh, again, all surfaces can be sampled for GSR inside of a vehicle. So they prefer a headliner, so they got the best piece of car that they prefer to test. A headliner that is identified as being collected from an Audi A5 was submitted. And what was the result of your testing? Uh, the samples from the headliner from the Audi A5 failed to reveal any particles that are characteristic of GSR. All right, so why are they showing this then? Are they just preparing for the defense to destroy this? Not good for the state here, right? Only tested a sample of the headliner is it possible that there could have been gsr on the portion that you did not sample or that you did not um stuff it is possible that there is a small amount of gsr somewhere on that headliner that i happen to miss with the sampling process speculation the same driver i'm going to ask first sticks their hands outside of the window and they fire a 40 caliber handgun would you expect gunshot residue to enter into the car that the driver was in it's possible that a small amount of gsr 
uh, could still be deposited inside the vehicle um, through that open window um, or door, perhaps, but not particularly a large amount of GSR. Most of that cloud or plume of GSR particles would be outside of the vehicle, but some of that still could be deposited inside as well. So they don't know whether he opened the door or shot out the window is what she just confirmed. Because yesterday she was saying, did he open the door? Now she's saying if he stuck his hand out. What an absolute shit show. There's so much doubt in this case. And for some reason they're in the same car, the passenger shoots a gun inside of the car, inside of the same car. Would you expect to find GSR inside of that vehicle? Yes. Um, if the gun is discharged within the cabin of that vehicle, I would expect to find GSR inside of that vehicle. Yes, it is reasonable to expect that more GSR particles will be found in the vehicle where the firearm was discharged inside of the vehicle versus the vehicle where the firearm was discharged outside of the window of the vehicle. And in this case, outside of testing the headliner, do you know anything about where that headliner came from? Outside of knowing that it came from an Audi A5, do you know anything else about that vehicle? No, I do not. If the GSR particles are already deposited inside of the vehicle, I suppose it's possible that you would lose a small amount if the windows are down or the sunroof is open, just based on wind or maybe if it rained or something like that. Uh, but I wouldn't expect for there to be a huge difference based off of that alone. This trial is going to be used in schools on what not to do as a prosecutor. I swear. Max is about to shit on all of this. He's going to pull his pants down and just absolutely go diary on this thing. You were just asked about some hypotheticals. Let's just be clear. In your expert opinion, if a gun was shot inside the cabin of a car and the sunroof was opened subsequently to the gunfire and, or, and the windows were opened and someone was driving around, in your expert opinion, the gunshot residue inside that car would remain, correct? And this is after the gun was already discharged yes. and the GSR was deposited? Yes. Yes, I would expect for there to be surfaces inside of that vehicle where the GSR particles remained, yes. Okay, you were asked about a hypothetical where someone sticks their hand out the window, the driver sticks their hand out the window and shoots. Okay, first of all, um, there's a possibility that there would still be gunshot residue inside the cabin in that circumstance, correct? That is correct. Because it's a large plume of microscopic particles, three to four shots fired outside the car, inside the car, either way. That would increase the amount of particles that are uh, expelled from the firearm three to four times, correct? Yes, it would, yes. That would make it more likely, even if a gun is shot outside the, a window, that there would be gunshot residue within the cabin that could be detected by you later on, correct? Yes, that is reasonable to expect that there will be more available to deposit on some surface somewhere, yes. Okay, and while we're playing the hypothetical, <clears throat> um, if someone stuck their arm out the window, the driver's side window of a car and fired a gun and it was on video. You would expect to see muzzle flashes, wouldn't you? On, vi on video? Yes. Uh, that's reasonable to expect. That's yes. With a gunfire, with a discharging firearm. Yes. You familiar with tint, tint application? Uh, a little bit. Yes. You're not supposed to down the window within 24 to 48 hours after the tint is applied, correct? That is what I've been told uh, before. Yes. Leads to bubbling, leads to damage to the tint. <laughs> that's correct. Okay. If, if a car is collected that recently been had tint applied and was no um, within hours of this alleged shooting. That is outside of my expertise. Um, I'm not a window tent expert. I know I've been told that as well before with my own vehicle, but I cannot say for sure that that's the case here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is all hypotheticals, remember? Miss Hilton bringing up hypotheticals into this. Nine and a half years experience, you dabbed enough to get an accurate represent representation of whether that headliner was exposed to a plume of gunshot residue, correct? Yes, that's correct. You felt, you felt great about the work you did. You followed all the procedures. Yes, I did feel good about the sampling process that I did. Clothing and, and textiles and the potential to wash textiles or clothing, correct? That's correct. And you also said that there are studies that show even textiles or clothing, even if they go through the wash, still have gunshot residue, correct? That is correct. All right, but here's the thing. I want to talk about this case. Do you have any evidence? Is there any evidence that you noted in your report? Any evidence that this headliner had been washed? There's no evidence that was noted or given to me that would indicate that it had been washed. I would never really know for sure. Okay. Based off of what, I'm, what, I'm, what I am given. Clarifying from the jury, there's no evidence of him cleaning that headliner. Uh, we don't really use the word positive. It's just, is the GSR there or not? And all you need is just one particle to say that, yes, there are particles characteristic of GSR present on this surface. So all you need is one particle under that scanning electron microscope with the electron beams to be a positive result. That is correct. And in this case, the result of that headliner was negative, meaning you did not even see one particle of gunshot residue on that headliner. That is correct. Boom. Thank you. I, for the questions. I had a feeling that was his last question. Mr. Shard just asked you if there was evidence that the car was washed. Do you know sitting here if there's evidence that it was not washed or cleaned? No, I do not. Mr. Shard asked you about um, muzzle flashing on a video. Do you remember him asking about that? Yes. If the video is grainy, would you expect to see muzzle flash? I really can't tell you for sure without actually seeing the video myself. 
Get this sh shit the fuck out of here. It is. You can see the lights of the cars. You can see the brake lights. You would be able to see a muzzle flash. Did she really just fucking ask that? I suppose the graininess of the video could impact that, but I can't say for sure. And just because you don't see muzzle flash, does that mean a shooting did not occur? I'm not really too sure on that one either. Again, cleaning, vacuuming inside of a car, inside of a vehicle, that can affect whether or not we find GSR. Is that fair? Yes. Or that Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, that will affect uh, the amount of GSR particles that are there. Now we're dealing with a hypothetical about vacuuming. Do you have any evidence that this headliner was vacuumed? No, I do not. Okay. Sharp plays no gaze when it comes to Shannon, bro. No, they did not. No one took the headliner and started, went out on Panthersville Road and, and ran in the yard with the headliner, just waving it around? That's right. No, they did okay. not. It was maintained in a sealed uh, evidence bag? Yes, it was. Just like all other evidence that is brought in to GBI for testing, correct? That is correct. All right, thank you. No Max doing Max things, man. All he has to do is cast out, and there's a lot of doubt just casted right there. All right, YSL Obama is here. Antonio Sumlin. Antonio Sumlin. If you're going to swing the shot, you speak in your mic, so... Are you a little nervous? A little. A lot. Damn, he nervous. All right, here we go. You say this so that the jurors can hear you, okay? You say you're from the Cleveland Avenue area? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. You can move that mic and pull it closer to you if you want, or if that would help. As you were growing up in the Cleveland Avenue area, did you ever hear a game called Rock Crew? Yes, I heard Rock Crew. Okay. And how did you know about Rock Crew? It was just a little, it was popular where I was from, where I was growing up. At. Were you part of Rock Crew? Yes, ma'am. Do you know why there was a change from Rock Crew to YSL? I don't call it like 15 on you. So he took a plea. His pleas factual acknowledgements were never public. So we're gonna see if he agrees to shit here. We'll see. Now is YSL a gang? Me personally, I never looked at it as a gang. What did you look at it as? I had a friend that when I came home from prison, he was successful. So I thought I was I thought I was a part of something successful. When did you go to prison? 2013. Was YSL formed before you went to prison? Yes, I can yes, yes. And the person that you're saying, a friend who was successful, who are you speaking of? Mr. Wade. Is that Jeffrey Williams? Yes. He seems very nervous. What does YSL stand for? I mean, you can use it in any kind of way. You're on successful living, you're on stoner lifestyle, you're on slime life. And do you have slime life tattooed on your body? Yes, ma'am. All his tattoos and shares, Instagram posts. I think I was at um, the house on Brown Mill Road. Okay. Where is that house at on Brown Mill Road? Park Street from the golf course. And does that house have a particular name? Yo, we gave it the nickname, The Well. And you said we gave it the nickname. Who is the we that gave it the nickname? I, I can't. I didn't know we used to call it The Well. I can't particularly who made the name. Of it. Yes. How do you recognize four? Dude, this guy's so nervous. He's shaking. I almost feel bad, but at the same time. Is that the YSL tattoo that we just talked about earlier? Yes, ma'am. And what is depicted on your right arm? Slime life. Okay. And is there a snake on top of slime life? Yes. What does that snake symbolize? How's it got it? I don't know. What, what you mean when it symbolize? Was that, uh, was a snake a symbol used by members of YSL? Yes, I was just getting stuff really, I was so long ago, I was trying to do, put all that behind me. Also something to point out, he has 15 years probation, so he's probably shitting his pants right now because he just want to say something wrong and get sent back to prison for 15 years. They say Bleedling Avenue in Macon Drive. Why did you put Bleedling, not Cleveland? Cause they just like, around that time, that's the slang we were using, it was just some slang, just, we were just using it, I was just young and just, Original slime shit. And is there, are there emojis? Yes, it's a heart, snake heart. <laughs> Y'all know why I said we dead in pill. Murray game. Yeah. Original shit. And is that Mr. Williams right there throwing up the YSL sign? Yes. Now, Mr. Williams, what, <clears throat> back in 2017, um, or even up to 2022, what did you call Mr. Williams? Little Joe. Is that the only name that you reference him by? I might say slime sometimes. You know, you say, you know, you use it like it's a universal word, like twin. Call everybody slime. I might say, I might say slime sometimes. I don't know, but I know I say with Jeff. How long have you known Mr. Williams? 2007, 2008. Dang. That's a long ass time. Do you, yes or no? Do you know Shannon Jackson, also known as Shannon Stillwell? Yes, ma'am. In number of years, how long have you known him? 20, 25 years. Do you consider him or Mr. Williams one of the founders of YSL? What do you mean by founder? Like, Who decided to start YSL? Um, yeah, they, they wanted to, yeah, yes. And we talked about Christian McMiller, Darius Ford. Did you know Darius? Yes. And what was your relationship like with Darius? A friend. Do you know an individual by the name of Cordarius Dorsey, or also known as Polo? Yes. Did Mr. Dorsey reach out to you in order to set up a robbery or a homicide? He reached out. The phone call, I think. He asked, I, know, I, I don't even remember the phone call. But I, Let me ask, during that phone call, was he trying to set up a robbery of a person? Yes, I think he had me something about it. Uh, why sell polo kind of had a little plan to uh rob someone but it's an overt act in the indictment as a conspiracy to commit murder like when you have people in that situation sometimes you just tell them whatever just 
So you just tell him whatever this do. What did he ask of you or tell you to do? I think he had me go rob somebody. I think he had me go rob somebody. And did he ask you to rob somebody with another individual? I don't even, I can't recall if it was another individual. I know he, I, I, Did he give you some information for the person that he wanted you to rob? Yes, he gave me information, but that's all it was. Like, I definitely did it. Like, when I hung up the phone, it was what it was. I never took the further step to do anything else. Oh, you talking about, did I have, did he have my phone number when he was incarcerated? When he was incarcerated and when he was not incarcerated, did he have your phone number? He probably, he probably did have my phone on. Is he on jail calls talking of Christian Eppinger, who is an absolute savage, the guy that shot a cop and robbed a mother at gunpoint with her child? Who owned the web? I always wondered whose house this was. What you mean? Like, who? Whose child was born with? Mr. Mr. William grew up in the house. It's Thug's childhood house? In 2021, did you spend time at that location? Yes. Who acquired it for you in 2021? Um, I think Mr. William had on rented it for us. He Thug bought the house back or acquired it for everyone in the nyso well people sell drugs outside of the web out so at the web i mean i saw i saw drugs, but i don't know like i don't know if nobody was sending drugs. like i can't say nobody was just sending drugs outside the web like i wouldn't even send to the web like i go to the store but like he he got that house for people who didn't have nowhere to go they go lay their heads and like you know what i'm saying like if you if you get into it with your girl you got somewhere to go you want to have some extra company you got somewhere to go did he also provide the website that you would stop selling at the gas station? No, from my understanding that he secured the spot so we can have somewhere safe to be because they kept shooting up our they kept shooting up our store. They kept who kept shooting up this? I mean, I don't know who wrote y'all didn't ever go get him. I'm gonna be honest, boys, he's starting to talk a lot. Definitely not a good look for the jury to hear all this, but ask you again, did you sell out of the web? I never really just sold out of the web. I can't say it. I never I didn't ask about you. I asked, well, did they sell drugs? You actually just said you, so. Oh. Yeah, what, the judge, thank God, she literally did say, did you sell drugs out of the web? Miss Hilton said, I didn't ask about you. So I'm going to ask you again, did you sell drugs out of the web? I didn't ask about you. I asked, well, did they sell drugs? You actually just said you, so. Oh, did, did, excuse me, did YSL members sell drugs out of the web? I mean, they weren't doing being with me, Miss Hills. I mean, I went in AB, I went in AB, and I can't tell you what another grown man, I went watching another grown man do, like, it was just something I ain't into. Do you remember taking a plea in December 2022 in this case? Yes, I remember. Oh, man. Factual acknowledgments, isn't there? About selling drugs. And as a part of your plea agreement, do you remember going over certain factual acknowledgments? Yes. Does that say YSL members sold drugs from their home at 2539 Brownsville Road, Atlanta, Georgia? Yes, no. And did you initial that right there? I did. And did you initial that as a factual acknowledgment in this case? Yes, yes no. All right, so I'm going to ask you again. Did YSL members sell drugs from their home? Thank you, I'm asking. <laughs> You can answer. You can answer. He got to say yes, or else he could revoke his probation just like Monk Tunk. Like, even though just, it, it wasn't just why I said I remember allowed there. Like, it just, like, what? You saying, have I ever seen somebody sell drugs out of the web? I just asked, do YSL members sell drugs from the web? I actually, I'm starting to feel bad for this guy. He's like anxiously drinking water and shaking. What is Massa? Does that say Massa on your pants leg? Yes. What does that stand for? Uh, I think you make America slime again. And is that a snake on the right hand side of the pants leg? I get it, it's supposed to be a snake. Does YSL gang have a rivalry with the YFN gang? I mean, a couple guys from both sides probably have some personal issues, but like as a whole, I don't, I don't, they probably have some personal issues, but as a whole, I can't just say everybody got a problem with everybody. Like, they probably got, probably got a personal issue with whatever they got going on, they got going on. I'll ask again, is YFN a rival gang to YSL? I would imagine that's one of his factual acknowledgements. He keeps taking a sip of water. This man is so nervous. In that same factual acknowledgement. YFN is a rival gang to YSL. And did you initial that with your initials? On yes. Your he's trying his hardest not to look like he snitched, but people on the streets would say this is snitching, right? How long has the rivalry been in existence? I was in prison. So did it start when you were in prison? Yes. Were you aware of him being stabbed in the Fulton County Jail? No. Do you know someone by the name of Jaden Myrick? No. Right. Well, I heard about him when this case came by, but I don't know him. I don't know him at all. Jaden's the one that stabbed Lucci, remember? Did you get a call from Christian Eppinger while he was in the Fulton County Jail? Yes, ma'am. And did he reach out to you to get permission to harm Lucci, YFN Lucci? Yes, he, re he reached out to me. And have you had an opportunity to listen to that jail call in preparation for your testimony today? Yes, ma'am. Oh, man. They're going to play this jail call with Christian Eppinger and him? You know, I'm in, I'm in right street, man. No, nigga, they got phone on them. Yeah, that shit upstairs, though. Oh, you know, they, got, they, they got me on PC. With, 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 oh, they got me on PC. Yeah, hey, find out, man. Find out what I get for that, bro. Huh? Man, find out what I get for that, bro. Guess what? You know what I'm talking about. <coughs> find out what you get for I just told you why I'm at. <laughs> okay, so what you need me to do? Find out what I get, man. I just told Christian Appinger is a dumb savage. I'm in PC with Lucci. Find out how much I can get for that. 
on a recorded jail call that's monitored. How fing stupid. Hold up, woman, you're going with. You're going with. Lucha, nigga. Oh, you in the ground? Yeah. I'm going to make a call right now. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know. When, 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 when you going to make a call back? I'll call back anytime, bro. I've been trying to call you, bro. I like, bro. I know. I, 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 like, I know. If one nigga's going to make a mistake, Obama's going to do it, bro. Obama's going to make sure they do it. Man, hell yeah. You know that. You know that, bro. Obama sound like he's gladly gonna help him. I'm gonna make a call. He said he gonna make a call. Dude, this is so stupid. The IQ has to be under 100 combined, dude. I need a lawyer answer right yeah, 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 you do. And that's a big fear right there. If you, if you get that boy, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't see, I, I don't see nobody not fucking with you, bro. If you handle that business, bro. I need a lawyer, and that's some big shit if you get that boy. That's what I'm saying, bro. I got, now, I was trying to get on um, dollar numbers so I could holler at Slime, man. I know I was gonna holler at him about that shit on the phone, but he don't, he don't catch a nigga drift. Yeah, like you just caught me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up to the yo tonight. I'm gonna pull up to the yo tonight, bro. Boom, boom, just pull it out. I'm gonna pull up to the yo tonight. I'm gonna pull a shot, I'm gonna pull a shot to the side on someone I want shit and just ask him shot. You talking about pulling shoddy to the side? Is that, is that thug? Nah, they got me on PP with the op boy. I'm on PP. Yeah, they got, they got, they, they got right here Lucci. PC with the op boy, with Lucci. Man, I'm trying to holler at Slime, man. I'm trying to holler at Slime. So Slime has to be thug, right? This is, this is not a good look for the jury to hear. I'm gonna be honest. Do you know why Mr. Eppinger was in jail? Um, so for shooting the cop? Were you aware of a shooting of a, of a police officer on Cleveland Avenue in February of 2022? Yes, I heard about it. That's another conversation. I left where it was. I never took the next step to reach out to nobody to try to hurt nobody. I just, just I had a conversation. I was just talking, talking to be talking. I didn't. My question is though, do you know why he would have to get permission to co stab Lucci? He ain't got to get permission. He's a grown man. He can do what he, he, he want to do. So why was he calling you to get permission? Sustained. When he was asking for permission, who did he want you to reach out to? I don't know. I said I put something. In the, I know I just replied like I put something in a couple people's ears. So who were the couple people's ears that you were going to put something into? Nobody. When he says that I've been trying to get Dolly so I could talk to Slime, who's Dolly? Mr. Will, you have a sister named Dolly. And then who is Slime? Somebody in the car. I guess he referred to when he said I guess he, he put slime and dialing in the same sentence, so I just assumed he was talking about Mr. Wade. This is definitely not a good look. Did you say you assumed who it was, or was it slime? Was I just, like, from the conversation, I just put two and two together. He put slime and dialing in the same sentence, so I just figured he was talking about Wade. I mean, Mr. Wade. When you said you were going to pull up to the yo, what were you referring to? I was talking about the studio, but I was lying. I mean, like, bro, this shit's so hot right now, bro. You're like, bro, you going to go to jail, bro. He's going to jail, bro. Them folks trying to lock the ass up, boy. This shit, see, he's in jail no more than nothing. We on the street. Yeah. We laying they know because them folks from the bone folks, you feel what I'm saying? Sure. It's so much going on, bro. Like, uh, yeah, it's a lot going on with that shit, boy. Yeah, I think they got fired back. That's they got kind of, kind of fired back, but it's so much going on. Like, I saw the Woody. He called me. He was like, bro, like, he was like, vape, bro. About three niggas done push up on me. Tell my your name. Tell my boy. I'm on the vape. Woo, them folks pushing up on Woody. Them folks trying to. He's like, bro, that shit hot right now. They just chill, bro. Like, just chill, bro. Like, I know he's basically like, bad job. They want to go do something, but you can't right now. He said, yeah. it's impossible. He said, it's impossible. He said, yeah, can't help in jail. He said, because they watch him. When you think they ain't watching, they own nigga ass, bro. Chill, you feel me? Chill, chill, them chill for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's that nigga backstage, bro. I'm off. Like, just chill and just lay low, you feel me? So now they're showing the jury these guys telling each other to chill. It's too hot right now. Meaning, like, the police are on to them type shit. Nigga gotta right. stop posting that wide shit. You can't yeah, post that wide shit. Yeah, shit like that. And I'm gonna caution you that the co-defendant, someone's guilty plea conviction itself is only admitted for a limited purpose. That guilty plea is an admission by this witness only that he committed the criminal act or acts to which he pled. You're not to consider. This defendant's guilty plea is evidence that any other defendant is guilty of committing any other criminal acts alleged against them in this indictment. Then what's the point of showing this then if they can't even take it in consideration? All right, Doug Weinstein up for cross. A phone call um, between you and Polo, Mr. Dorsey. You remember that conversation? Yes, and you were saying that you just kind of say, when someone asks you to do something about this particular issue, you just say, yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Why do you just say, yes, yes, yes? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I was just having an idle conversation. Like, I never took the next step there. So sometimes when you're having a phone call yes. between someone in jail, someone not in the jail, yes. you'll just say whatever, yes, 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 just to get off the phone. Is that right? Yes. Just to have idle conversation and I move on. Yeah. Okay. To stay away from the other defendants in this case. Do you recall that? Yes. So you can't have contact with any other defendants that were in the same indictment as you, correct? Correct. You're accused in this indictment of trying to harm Rayshon Bennett, YFN Lucci, correct? Yes, sir. Are you required to stay away from them in this plea deal that you took? Or let me take that back. Would you be surprised if I can have you look at it if you'd like? Would you be surprised that you're not required to stay away from them? I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Do you know um, Woody Lee? What's his real, what's his real name? Who, who, I mean, what's his slime? I mean, what's his... Slime Life Shorty. Yeah. So, you know him as Slime Life Shorty? Yes. Okay. Um, what's his real name? What's his slime? What did he just do when I... Did he just do that on accident? Saying what's his slime name? Who, who, I mean, what's his slime? I mean, what's his... Bro just said what's his slime name, I think, man. Common threads of drill music. Ops. People yes. talk about ops a lot. Yes. And that's the opposition. Yes. Now, when I say people talk about ops a lot, I'm, I'm not talking about 
YSL or um, YFN. Okay, I'm talking about drill music throughout the country and throughout Atlanta and throughout the country. Yes. They all talk about ops, don't they? Gun. Is that a common theme, a common term used in drill music? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, not just YSL. No. Not just Atlanta. No. Not just YFN. No. People killed as much as they claim they do in songs. Would the streets of Atlanta, the streets of this world, just be depleting a population at this point? Would there be dead bodies everywhere if everyone was really doing what they were saying? Sustained. Would there be dead bodies everywhere if there weren't cap rapping? That call, Mr. Dorsey called you. You did not call Mr. Dorsey. Right. And Mr. Dorsey was in jail and you were not in jail. Right. Okay. You, you said that Mr. Dorsey gave you some instructions. Right. And is it fair to say, fair recapping your testimony, that you hung up the phone and moved on with your life? Right. Okay. You did not act on what Mr. Dorsey was yes. asking you to do. Right. Okay. And then you had a, another call from Mr. Eppinger. Right. Mr. Eppinger was calling about, you know, the state was saying permission. Wasn't Mr. Eppinger really looking for payment? Isn't that what it was? It wasn't permission, it was payment. Yes. Okay. And Mr. Eppinger, and I know you said alleged. Um, alleged, we'll say alleged. But he he was accused of doing something really crazy and, and idiotic. He was accused of shooting an officer yes. who was trying to arrest him. Right? Yes. Okay. Do you know of, and, and, and this officer, to your knowledge, if you know this officer was trying to arrest him on a, on a separate warrant, and that's when Mr. Eppinger shot the officer. I, I think that was the situation. Okay. Um, and then Mr. Evinger, after shooting the officer, ran away from the officer. So to at least prolong before he got arrested. Yes. Okay. Do you know of anyone in this case, Mr. Stillwell, Mr. Kendrick, anyone on the indictment other than Mr. Eppinger? Did you ever hear of anyone encouraging Mr. Eppinger to shoot that officer? No, sir. Okay. So Mr. Eppinger calls you and he's in jail now for shooting the officer and for the case that the officer was trying to arrest him for, correct? Yes. And then he starts asking you how much money he could get because he wanted to, he needed to hire a lawyer yes. is that what he said to you yes i think he said I, yes i think he said it in the car okay and and from the call um he told you that he was locked up with lucci right yes and at first when he gave you that information you didn't even put two and two together what why he was even telling you that no uh, no okay find out how much what i can get and then you said for what was that on the call yes and then you asked him what do you need me to do right the truth is you looked at mr eppinger as like a child that got himself into a, bunch, a very bad situation. Correct. His own doing. His own doing. And you hung up that phone and you didn't act on it anymore. No. Okay, but you did not write this form. No, sir. And the letterhead on it is Fulton County District Attorney's Office, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Agreeing to what was written on this form and entering your guilty plea on December 22nd, 2022, you were allowed to go home, correct? I went to Clayton County. Oh, you had to hold in Clayton County. You were released on this case. And right. you were transferred to Clayton County. Yes. And then since you've resolved your situation in Clayton County. Yes. All right. Great. The individuals who were trolling, were they associated with YFN? Yes. And is Lucci associated with YFN? Yes. Have you ever heard the term dry snitching? Dry snitching. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. How have you heard that term? I mean, I can't. I heard the term before. I can't explain how, how I heard it. I can't. What is your I, understanding of what the term means? I can't. I can't say. What dry, I, I heard the term before, but I can't just say what it means. Back in 2022, um, after you were arrested on this case, did you learn that your phone number, there was a search warrant for your phone number and there was a wire on your phone, a wiretap on your phone number? Yes, man, I learned it. Dude. Imagine your heart just dropping when you find out you got a wiretap on your phone. The truth is, there were a whole lot of people trolling about that death, correct? Right. There was a whole lot of people claiming responsibility for Mr. McMillan and Mr. Ford's bodies, correct? Yes, sir, you were. People from YFN were on Instagram claiming their bodies, claiming responsibility, correct? Yes. People from PFK were on Instagram claiming responsibility for those same killings, correct? Yes. Members of the henchmen. Yes. So everyone was claiming these killings on social media. It wasn't just YFN. Yes, on sir. the east side of Atlanta, correct? Yes, sir. People that were members of the henchmen were also claiming responsibility for Mr. McMillan and Mr. Uh, Ford's deaths, correct? Yeah, it was, a lot of, it was a lot of people trolling about they, 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 they death. Okay, so there was at least three different groups and multiple people within these groups who were all claiming responsibility for the same deaths, correct? Yes. And they were doing it publicly? Right? Yes. So the world could see? Yes. All three of these groups are involved with rap music, correct? Yes. With drill music, yes. correct? Yes. Okay, thank you. No further questions. So that's it for Obama. I mean, overall, definitely not a good look, but none of it really related to Shannon or Yak Gotti specifically. Uh, digital forensics, um, meaning that um, I sought to obtain uh, digital evidence off of different devices. So if Shannon tracked at the airport down here, getting the rental car at 3 p.m., well, it's not an exact location, remember? This is like. Phone tracking is 
a whole big area estimate, pretty much. Uh, the tower that's closest to the crime scene and the sector that would cover uh, the crime scene as we can see here. So they got him using a tower near the crime scene. So they got him tracked at Waters Road the day after the murder, I think. So they got Quay's phone just tracked everywhere. Pretty much everywhere in all of downtown Atlanta area. Why was Miles Farley down by the airport? All right, so now the jury is gone. Investigator Viverito is the last witness. Literally, there's one witness left for the state. Absolutely insane. But she's going to wrap up this trial for them. But apparently, there's a lot of evidence that they need to handle before she gets here. So that's why they stick around for another hour and a half arguing evidence. So sadly, Maxard's mic is turned off. So we can barely hear him. But they argued about evidence of Instagram posts. We're going to see it anyway tomorrow or the next day. So... That's pretty much it for day 160. Obama's testimony, definitely not a good look, but none of it really had anything to do with Shannon. Or yeah, no GSR in that car is definitely a W for the defense though. So yeah, hit subscribe, join the membership. Love you guys, peace out. Diamond.